Dave Mercer. I'm Matt Pangrat. Welcome to the Call, a weekly sport fishing debate show. The Bassmaster Classic is in the tail lights, but one of the bright shining stars of the Bassmaster Classic was the Celebrity Pro-Am. And this week, our question is, the Bassmaster Classic Celebrity Pro-Am needs to grow and become a major part of the Classic. Keep our call, Panger. I'm all in on the keep on this. This was something that I knew had been going on in past classics with different sponsors, kind of as a, a side piece to the classic, but there was a, a little bit more emphasis put on it the day before the classic. You had uh, NASCAR drivers, NFL players, country music superstars, social media celebrities, Travis Pastrana, Co Wetzel, Randy Moss, Brian Robinson, millions of eyeballs from all of these people, their social media following, and I wanted to follow it. And I found that it was difficult to follow just because it was the day before and it wasn't a main feature in it. I think going forward between the opportunity a bass has and speaking with some of these celebrities and anglers that took part in it, there's an awesome opportunity here for bass to put a lot more eyeballs on the sport and get a lot more people that like action sports and stick and ball sports to get into competitive bass fishing i think bass needs to spend a lot of money on this and a lot of research on this and get these guys walking across the classic stage and let everybody be able to follow this and watch it live i wanted to watch scott martin fish with travis pastrana all day in this celebrity pro-am live and i think bass has a great opportunity to step it up and do that next year i think they do i i think it's i think first of all they did it i mean what they did is put on a legit, I mean, most of these kind of events that have happened in the past that I've seen, there's a couple of celebrities and then, you know, a marketing manager from this company and uh, somebody who once, you know, knew this person or whatever, but there was legit, you know, the Cody Cannon from Whiskey Myers, mm -hmm. like, tra as you said, I mean, the list goes on and on. I think it was a great event. I disagree that it needs to be part of like the classic stage because I think that what a lot of those celebrities liked about it is it was quick and easy. Like there's a lot of, I mean, Randy Moss has done a lot of interviews in his life. He doesn't want to get into a situation where he has to do a bunch more. I think it's a great opportunity to grow the sport through those guys. And it's great to see that interaction. I think it should be covered more. And I think it definitely will be covered more in the future, but I don't know that it's, it's, it's alive. You know what I mean? I don't know that it's a situation where it's going to be live the whole time. I think it's an edited piece that goes together i think it is something that happens on media day it gets a little bit more hype around media day but the bassmaster classic is the bassmaster classic i don't think that co wetzel or whoever you want to say really wants to be part of the big hoopla i think part of the appeal of these events is you can support something you know a charity you can support you can do something you love but all that hoopla i mean they, they deal with that every single day so i'm not saying a that fishing no, but did you see how excited they all were to be on the stage? I mean, it looked like Randy Moss could not get off that stage quick enough. And that was the media day stage. So, and that's not an insult. I think Randy Moss wants to go fishing with Rick Klun, and I don't freaking blame him because I'd love to go fishing with Rick Klun. I think Randy Moss would Randy love Moss. to be holding up two four-pounders on the classic stage and think about all the eyeballs that would have it. We've got the junior anglers, the high school anglers, the kayak anglers, all sorts of people that we have going across the classic stage. Why can't we put these nine or ten celebrities and really let them feel what it's like at championship-level events? We It's not that we can't. I mean, I, I don't know where I'm... I, I just feel like there's 56 people who fought to be there and all eyes on them during those competition days. It would should still be, be on it would them. be before it would be before the weigh in starts. Okay. It and wouldn't so be like during the weigh in. Like I've said, you're sending a bunch of people across the classic stage that aren't the 56 anglers in the classic. I think Travis Pastrana, who's been in front of millions and millions of people would be like, get the, Walk up and hold fish. Think about all the new posts. No, all no, the more he media didn't hold any have. fish. Him and Scott I know, Martin, but it, two great but listen, people together. Uh, and then the live good. coverage, who wouldn't want to watch Rick Clun and Randy Moss live for a couple hours? This thing was, what, four hours long, three and a half, yeah. four hours long? I think it would get a lot of views. And then imagine 
All you have to have is a couple of these guys sharing it. Guys went on Facebook Live. Guys made Instagram posts about it. And if just a fraction of their viewers say, yeah, I want to watch my favorite baller of all time, Randy Moss, fish with the... And even if they don't know who Rick Clun is, it's a win-win for everybody. A lot more eyeballs on it. I don't think that that gets any less eyeballs if you do it during media day. People are looking for something to cover during media day. It makes it, it build the hype around what happened this year. I mean, they had kind of a pseudo reveal, but make the way in bigger, make it part of when the entire media is there to cover them. And it'll bring in more eyeballs to ultimately bring more eyeballs the next day, because what you're talking about is putting it ahead of the way in. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's totally cool. And I'm all for stuff like that. But you've also got the high school stuff, the kayak stuff, all things that are growing. But I think that as long as it's the day before the classic, as long as it's removed from the classic, okay, I, I just feel like, and I don't know why, but I also feel like just dealing with a lot of those guys. I mean, they're happy to do the event. I mean, I spent time with Travis Pastrana afterwards, and he said it was great. He can't wait to do it again in the future. But I don't know, like there's a lot of, crap that goes in with going to weigh in and all that. You know what I mean? Like, I think what they liked about it was they showed up at a lake. There wasn't too much hoopla around them. They had an organic, real fishing experience. Like, I, I guess for me, I want to see Rick Clun and Randy Moss fishing together. But I, I don't think everything needs to be live. I think in our big push to make everything live, there is a little magic of editing that's been removed from the sport. I mean, I'm game with that. I agree. Uh, an hour special. Yeah. For the celebrity pro am on FS1, or even that could be even a Fox special. Something sure. like that would be phenomenal. Like the old Bassmasters, where you've got the studio, the whole guys, you got Zona talking about it, Sanders, a breakdown, a cover of the tournament, though, and turn it into that hour. Oh, I'm, I, yeah, no, I'm all in on that. Okay. Okay. And so then they don't have to. I think I, I think I, I, I'm with you on that. Okay, so we're both keeping it though. It was a yeah, oh, a hundred huge success, a huge success. I mean, Chris Aldane and Hood Fishing Entertainment won it, and I mean, I think that was all. One of the coolest things about that event is the winner on the on the celebrity end of it won a boat, and mm -hmm. and Hood Fishing's whole thing is he's the shoreline guy, and I think it was. I saw a video when he is he's going through the boat and the legit excitement about man we've got I think the person perfect person won that boat and um it, it was a it was a great event but I do agree with you and I think everybody at Bass would agree that it is something that they they did it's baby steps I mean it was mm -hmm. a cool thing it ended up being even cooler than when I heard it was going to happen you know once you start hearing names like Randy Moss Travis mm -hmm. Pastrana you know what I mean like they had legit celebs there and i think that was super cool but i think it is a pre-classic thing so i'm all about keeping it uh i just all about growing it i agree the logistics you made a great point by the way isn't that the rocks energy drink company there what are the odds of that what in, is uh, it in texas next year is it uh, the, the zoa oh god like yeah i mean like i mean the rock he he catch a fish every now and then I, i'm all about it i mean i've you been begging him to come to on the podcast up. to an embarrassing state but um He's, he is, I'm going to say it again, and we're going to hear about it in the comments because we do every single time I've said it, but he is one of the best stars, one of the best promoters of our sport right now. If you mm -hmm. look at in mainstream media and, and people say what they want when they see him posting pictures and this and that dude is a mainstream celebrity posting pictures of bass fishing. He he's inserted it into his show, mm -hmm. young rock. It's, it's, it's something he loves. So thank you rock. And, and Hey, hey. Yeah, come on out to and the celebrity Dion, pro -air. Dion, Dion, The Rock. Yeah. Oh, dude. Make There's it happen. There's so much that Bass can do with this. Hey, we're talking about the Classic, right? I mean, because yeah. this is at the Classic. Yeah. I picked this up at the Classic. See what this is? I, I can't. The light in your this studio a, is so, a, so bright. This is a uh, a foil pack, 2024 limited edition pro pack of AFCO cards. I've got, I got, I got another pack there. Uh, I think we got to open up this pack and just see who's in here, don't you? Oh, sure, sure. I think uh, we should. Because, I mean, be... like, we're talking celebrities, sports cards of this is sealed. Wow, you're opening the pack. Yeah, I'm opening the pack. Cele you know, we're talking all the celebrities and everything. Let's see who we, 
who we have in here. Uh, first card, first pull. What do we got? First, Is that what they call pull. it? We're breaking. Yep, we're 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 pulling a pack. Mark Zona, best fishing Hall of Famer. Mark Zona, crankbait edition. HOF twenty twenty four. Uh, Gerald Swindle, two time angler of the year. Scott Martin. <laughs> yeah. Mike Iconelli. Giddy up. Jason Christie. Enough Drew said. Cook, way in stage. Beautiful. That's a rare pull. Wes Logan hero shot. There you go. We Smiling? pulled a Wes Logan hero. Matt Airy water shot. Beautiful. Christine Fisher kayak edition. Love it. Huh. Dave Mercer double guns blazing multi species hero shot. Yeah. Dave Mercer, large mouth, small mouth, hero shot. Mint condition, 10 out of 10, straight from the foil pack. One of these things is not like the other one. Don't know why Get they. This in a sleeve ASAP. <laughs> hey, my kid thought it was a lot cooler when he saw those cards. It's it, it's cool to have seen those back, but um, how come there was no banger one? Is this keeper call? Uh, banger should be part of this. This pack. is the this is the all star edition. Nah, I think it's the all star edition. It's the pro pack. See, it says it right there. It's the pro pack. It's not the standard series. That's why it's <laughs> foil on the outside. Let us know what you think, keeper call. I didn't remember what our topic was. Bump up the celebrity pro am next year at the classic. We love it. Yeah, keep.